Seven days after Rabobank cyclist Tom Laser made his appearance in the Tour of Flanders, he is starting in Paris-Roubaix, two of the toughest races in the season. That's what you call a hard week. Yeah, it's a, it's a fun week also. Eh? This is why, uh, as a young kid, you start racing your bike. The, uh, the first race I can remember watching probably was the Tour of Flanders and Paris-Roubaix and afterwards uh, Tour of France, of course. So... Yeah, for me it's always an heavy and uh, but also a very exciting week, and uh, I'm looking forward. Can you explain what is special about the Tour of Flanders and Paris Roubaix? Well, the, probably the historic value uh, and um, the atmosphere around the race, all the people, the crowds, uh, probably millions of people are watching, and even at the race there are a lot of people, and yeah. That makes it special huh? when you when you race and there are a couple of thousand people just standing on one section or one uh, one mountain and then cheering and all your neighbors and your friends they're watching the race on the television uh, makes it special. And uh, and tomorrow you'll finish in the velodrome in uh, Roubaix. Uh, that's also something different. Well, at the moment you, you you come on the on the track on the velodrome you're so tired but also so happy uh, mixed emotions and. Uh, uh, and then you shower afterwards in the old showers. So it's it's only only in Roubaix it happens only once. And yeah, the three days after you you still feel tired and you're completely exhausted and everything hurts. But it's fun to be a cyclist. <laughs> so yeah, it, it's fun. Definitely, it's fun. For the were, were the Tour of Flanders and Paris Roubaix uh, your highlights for the first part of the season? Well, last year I missed most of the year actually from. Well, one week after Roubaix, till uh, the beginning of this year with a knee injury. So my main focus was coming back on a good level uh, this year. And uh, succeeded so far. <clears throat> I'm still not quite there where I want to be. But uh, yeah, this is the end of the pre-season. So this is, uh, of course, this is the highlight. And uh, with the feelings you have for the races, and then, yeah, they're, they're so special and uh, you... Probably the only two races you're really nervous for in the year, so, uh, yeah. What are your plans for the rest of the season? We'll have a short break of, uh, I think, 10 days, and then we'll fly to Tur the Tour of Turkey. And then we'll start with a different focus, more with the, yeah, more with a sprint team, so with Theo and Mark. And we'll go to uh, do the Tour of Turkey, and afterwards, more or less, we'll fly straight to Denmark for the Giro. So, uh, it's an ambitious program. But I'm looking, I'm looking forward. Tour of Turkey, that sounds like more fun than Paris-Roubaix. <laughs> yeah, that's probably an experience as well, a uh, big one. Uh, no historic value, no, absolutely nothing, but uh, well, it's going to be my first time. I, uh, I've heard good things about the race, so uh, yeah, let it come.